ready? How's it going? This is your boy Rambo bringing you my perspective on how to play the Gunner class. There are many ways to play this game and all of its classes. I just like to share how I tackled this specific class. You know, for those who uh, would like the guiding hand, here's here's an idea. You know, take take what you will from it. All right, first let's take a look at the class skills real quick. I'm going to be explaining briefly what they do in the simplest of terms and why I went the way I chose to do. Why I picked why I picked the skills I chose to pick. Ha! <laughs> okay, first of all, chain trigger. Alright, the way you activate chain trigger is by holding down your photon attack button. Uh, specifically the Y one, I like the Y one, regular Y attack, the one that shoots a burst of um, guns. I'll show in a bit, live examples. Uh, so you hold down the Y button, and uh, you know it'll activate the this gauge, and it depletes over time. Uh, once the uh, during this gauge, when, when this gauge is active, what you want to do is attack as much as possible. All right, you want you want to build up to a hundred. That way, if you have the chain boost skill, you can charge the Y attack again. All right, once you get to one hundred hits, and you'll do a lot of damage with that. Um. After that, there's a there's a cooldown time, but if you have your quick reload here, the cooldown time goes back down pretty fast, so you can use the train trigger again. Ah, uh, overwhelm. I went overwhelm for the sake of uh, PSE burst. All right, you know those things when a bunch of enemies come out of nowhere. Gunner has a really nice attack. The X photon attack where she dances in the air and she does like the AOE attack. So what I like to do is I like to do AOE everywhere, just in a group of enemies during PSC burst. And then once I run out of my photon power, I'd like to do the stylish roll arts. Okay, you're gonna be doing that in just random directions, just bouncing everywhere, just shooting with your regular X, X attack. You're gonna build up that gauge up pretty quick. But you can go back into, you know, um, you back into the, the AOE attacks. Uh, and you can also use the, you know, the chain trigger and the chain boost while you're doing the AOE attacks. Just to, you're gonna be hitting multiple people so the, the the counter, the combo counter is going to go up really, up really fast, so that's what I like. This is uh, a stylish onslaught, this is uh, just pressing weapon action. It's funny, because before you have this, you don't have to worry about, you know, inputting a directional input on your controller for your character to do the stylish roll arts. But if you get stylish onslaught, you're going to have to be deliberate about uh, when you want to do the stylish roll and when you want to do the stylish on saw. Basically, this one is just a tackle. It just brings your character closer to, a little bit closer to an enemy. Just a little tackle. Uh, there's also a photon art gunner has that, that does that anyway. So, I mean, if you feel you want to put this somewhere else, you can. You can not get this at all, but, yeah, I just got it just because. Uh... And it's actually putting me in a you know, favorable position, depending on the enemy. You know, just getting closer, then they'll miss you or whatever. But yeah. Uh, these little ones up here, you basically just stay in the air longer when you're attacking. It's, uh, I guess it's pretty nice. I mean, you don't have to deal with the people, the melee people on the ground. You just gotta worry about the range to ranged enemies, ranged people. 
Um, because I mean, you're in the air and we can hit you, right? Except for certain enemies who have to work, look out for. Silas Roll Strike Pack. This one's really, really technical. I, I don't really use it all, all too much often. I just got it just because it sounded cool. Uh, but the way you use it is when you do your Stylish Roll Art. So your, your weapon action dodge. And you do it right, you time it right, you know, with the little team. Uh, pressing, you know, doing the photon art basically does more damage right after that. Uh, off the top of my head, if I already used this deliberately, I'd probably just go for, you know, the Y. The Y photon art. When you do the, you know, the various bursts of fire with the final, you know, little splash at the end. That one's, uh, that one sounds pretty good. I like, I like, I would use that. If I was delivered, because I actually forgot all about this thing. I'll have to implement this one. These ones, why didn't I pick these? Because I mean, twin guns. I mean, I don't. I've been focusing more on using the the twin machine guns than the actual assault rifle. I'm like, well, I'm not gonna use this. I'm not really. I'm not using the assault rifle right now. It's a gunner class, so I just kind of ignore ignore these. Attack, PP, recovery. Eh. I actually felt I was building up PP really fast, Photon Tower really fast, without it, so I'm like, well, what's my points there? And that's my reasoning behind this whole skill tree. Uh, in retrospect, probably Stylish Roll Strike Back, the the counterattack Photon Art, if you if you would, and the Stylish Onslaught, eh, you could probably save those points and put them, you know, save them for the future. But I mean, I explained there, you know, technicality, but, you know, it's, it's up to you. All right, now let's get into some demonstrations. What's what? So this is the Y attack I was talking about, just pressing Y. And just the bursts of, you know, rapid fire, followed by a little splash at the end. This is the, this is the weapon action. Pressing it, if you have the status onslaught, then you will do the tackle forward. You have to be deliberate about, you know, putting a, and putting a direction first. You know, just moving your control stick where you want it to go. Yeah, get away from me, giraffe. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to teach here. You have to die. Oh, give me a sec. Go clamp this giraffe real quick. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes, I was explaining uh, what I would like to do. So yes, the stylish onslaught. I was saying, just by itself, it's gonna do it. So if you have activated the skill, now you have to get used to actively move in the direction you need to do your, your rolls. Hey, the standard attack here. Goodness gracious, I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to teach here. Okay, I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. You know, the standard X attack. And that's, uh, you know, she fires a, a, a series of three little bursts. Really good for building up a, a photon power PP on its own. Uh, sometimes when you're on the move, right? You have an enemy locked on. Let's see if I can't find an enemy real quick. You have an enemy locked on. And if you're trying to stay mobile, something fun to do is just to do weapon action and uh, just fire all day you have to tap the your regular attack button right after you do the weapon action oh I think there's one thing I forgot to go over here oh da 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 Here we go, stylish roll arts. I don't think I properly explained this. What this does, is you press the, the photon attack button, in this case the Y, you just do a little, uh, a stronger burst. Uh, you can you can actually uh, alternate it with uh, 
have to do, you know, your little roll, the weapon action while moving. Notice the difference? It sounds louder and it looks like it does a little bit more damage. And I mean, it doesn't, it takes PP to use, but when you have your chain trigger active, if you alternate it with your... See, I have my chain trigger active now. I charge up the, the Y attack. You can alternate between the Damn it, lock on. You can alternate, you know. You can do weapon action Y and then X. Uh, I keep on activating the regular photon. Weapon action Y, X. Weapon action Y, X. I'm just strafing, I'm holding my direction, my input to the side. And look at the, the chain built up pretty fast. I'm at 100, so now I'm gonna charge my Y and I'm gonna let it rip, and uh, that guy's dead. Using my AoE by holding left trigger and doing the X, right? There was a bunch of enemies there, and they all got clapped. Also, a pretty good strong attack if you're running. Just you know, just the running attack is pretty strong too. So if you're going in, you can just uh, you can actually spam it a little bit. You just start running, and you know, it's also something nice you can do. Uh, yes. What other photon things? Holding left trigger and pressing Y. This is more close range. I mean, if you if you find yourself up close, you can you know let it rip. Uh, and the and that is it. That is all of that is all Gunner's basic attacks right now. Um, let's see if I can demonstrate the power. You know my theory behind the PSC burst. As I had set my class skills specifically to, you know, get the most out of those and just fighting a bunch of enemies in general at the same time, just trying to make the most uh, optimal use of her themes, the themes of the gunner. Um, also, an important thing to know is you're going to want to pick and choose when you activate your chain trigger, because I mean, if you're fighting, you know, uh, enemies that are weaker to your current level or just weak in general it's probably not going to be you know worth your while to activate chain trigger because I mean you can kill them without using it anyways I would use the chain trigger stuff for the notice the noticeably uh, big monsters the monsters that usually have a, a bigger health pull than your average enemies. Maybe like those guys over there. I'm doing my AoE because there's people just standing here. What's well, cool is that when you do AoE, you can actually control where it goes. See, I would use chain trigger on these guys. It's worth it. So I charged up my Y. Also, something... Something to notice about. The charged up the Y attack. You can actually cancel out of the... A lot of the animations of your photon arts and your attacks just by doing the roll.
see how the final animation was the splash there. Watch me cancel it with just the side roll. You can reposition if you feel like you're not going to be able to make it. It's also a great way to build up your chain boost, the chain trigger, by using the standard Y uh, photon art and then just going, canceling it with uh, with the roll, alternating with your Y or with your X attacks, like. That's also something, something you can do with that. Uh, just keep in mind you're missing out on damage every time you don't finish the splash with the Every time you 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 choose to forego the splash To build your chain gauge you're missing out on a good chip of damage. Check it. Check how much That final splash it does it does a good it does a good amount So you're gonna want to have to think about all right am I just building chain trigger or I want to know steadily do damage this 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 is a really important uh, especially when you're fighting uh, tough enemies like bosses you're gonna want to decide uh, you know should I be is it safe for me to let off you know the, that final splash right now and I get away with it or should I just hang back and build trigger Something else I wanted to touch on um, I lost my train of thought Oh yes, if you, you if you happen to kill an enemy while you're doing your um, your Y photon attack, if there happens to be another one nearby before you let off your splash at the very end and you change targets, you'll actually hit them. So you can uh, you know target multiple people with that without meaning to. You know if there's someone still around and if you have the time to switch. Oh, okay, I think I remember what I was going to talk about. Ah, oh, no I don't. Oh yes, the chain trigger. So what I like to do So I'm building chain trigger right now, right? My cooldown is gone. I have all the benefits of being, you know, of having used my cha my chain boost. That gauge is still running out. I'm still my attack speed has gone up. Why not activate chain trigger again and just keep the boost going? very useful for, for long fights. It's hard to keep that up when you're fighting, you know, these you know these uh, weak type of enemies, but during boss fights and fighting like uh, stronger type enemies. Let me see if I can get away with this. Activating your chain boost before you have a high hit count, it takes longer for your down to go away. That's why you always try to aim for as high as you can. So I have my chain boot, uh, chain boost going on here. All the benefits.
Oh, I ran out of time there. Sometimes that won't happen. Sometimes you will run out of time. The heck, my chambers came back? Alright. There's also a range to this uh, weapon action Y attack. You have to get, you have to be kind of like in, kind of close to land that. Wow, it went away again. Probably be easier fighting a boss to show what I'm trying to show. What I'm basically trying to get at is that while you have your chain boost active, you can keep it active, you know, just by building up your, by activating your chain trigger by uh, charging your photon mark. getting your count to 100 again and then just keep the boost going and you'll just pretty much be have attack speed all day as long as you keep it up Good amount of enemies down there. Hell yeah, I can do it here. This is fine. Step one, and and you can activate the chain trigger with any bolt on there. I just like doing it with the range, the standard one, just because. You can... That's just more convenient to use, but you can actually just, you know, charge any photon mark. You don't have to finish the animation, you can cancel it. As long as your charged attack hits, that's, that's all that really matters. When it starts blinking, you're going to want to, you know, be careful. Make sure it doesn't run out. So I have my chain boost, I launched it, right? I cool down, it's gone. I started the chain trigger again. And I managed to keep it up again as well. And I'm just gonna be looping the boost. I'm at a photon power here. I'm just gonna well around the mindlessly thanks to my overwhelm I have all my photon power back here able to go back to starting my chain and do some damage with my uh, standard photon my favorite photon art and you can also move around while you're fighting while you're launching your uh, your Y photon attack so Also, the photon blast. You're gonna want to get up close to wherever you're trying to hit, and then just let it rip. It's a really close range type of thing. Oh, I almost lost that. I almost lost that. Oh, here we go. Perfect. I got a chance to show, you know, just AOE everywhere and keeping the, uh, the chain boost going. Nice. Step one, start off with full photon power. Step two, start doing AOE. 
Actually, I like charging the AOE here to get my chain count going. The more enemies you can hit at, at the same time with this AOE, the faster your chain trigger will rise. There is a final splash that does a little bit more damage, but. Alright, and we, look, we looped it. Chain boost is still going. I have no photon power, so I'm just gonna flail around mindlessly. Charge it up, and now we got chain trigger again. I'm choosing not to end the, to cancel the attack, because I don't want to get hit. It's just one of those situations where I feel like I should move out. I want to be mobile. Cooldown's gone, I can start another chain trigger. Notice how I don't have my auto lock on, I'm just kinda, you know. I'm just free free forming here. There's enemies everywhere, so everyone's gonna get hit. Nuisances. Nuisance. Nuisance. What's this guy? Is he just big telling everyone just forgot about this guy or what? I got the hell out of there. That's great too. See, yeah, I took a risk there. I wanted him dead, so I, I went to the final splash. At least I got in the photon blast. Take me with you. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the gunner class. Apple was enlightening, take what you will.
and uh, good day to you.